Holy Week is a time that we set aside during the year to stop and reflect on the powers, the destructive powers that end up leading to Jesus' execution. And so this year, what I thought we would do is set aside time each evening um, to reflect on some of the scriptures. And so yesterday we celebrated Palm Sunday, which is in Luke 19. So today I want to talk about Luke 20. In Luke 20, the people that are opposed to Jesus' understanding of the kingdom of God and his way of teaching about God's presence and his call for society to change to reflect his understanding of who God is and what we are to do as God's followers. And the people who don't like that decide that they need to figure out a way to get rid of Jesus. And one of the ways they want to do that is to challenge him. And so they send successive waves of people to ask him questions. Questions about, depending on which gospel you're in, divorce and resurrection, about taxes, about authority. And so I'm not going to read you the entire chapter 20. I'm just going to read you one of the stories, the one about the question of paying taxes. So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be honest in order to trap him by what he said so as to hand him over to the jurisdiction and authority of the governor. So they asked him, teacher, we know that you are right in what you say and teach and you show deference to no one, but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But he perceived their craftiness and said to them, show me the denarius, whose head and whose title does it bear? They said the emperor's. He said to them, then give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's and to God the things that are God's. And they were not able in the presence of the people to trap him by what he said. And being amazed by his answer, they became silent. So that is just one of the questions they ask. They ask gotcha questions. They want to trap Jesus into saying things that will put him at odds with the government, will put him at odds with the teachings of the empire, that will allow them to get rid of this teacher, this prophet, this man of God who is asking them to be different than what they have been. So I want you to close your eyes and just breathe in and release your breath. And I want you to think about those questions that you have. Are they questions that have an answer? An easy black and white answer? Or are your questions complicated? Are the questions that you have about faith complicated enough that there is no easy answer to them. And we have to live in that mystery and disquiet. So what question is on your heart? Jesus, this holy week, we know that people challenged your thinking. They wanted to catch you in traps.
They wanted to disprove that you were the teacher that they should follow. And so Jesus, we sit here today and know that we too have questions. We have doubts and concerns. We wonder about our relationship to the places we live and how we should lead our lives. And so we ask you to turn your eyes and your heart and your love upon us. May you see where those questions are coming from. May you see what it is we really need answered. Jesus, this week we invite you into our presence to teach us, to ask, help us ask difficult questions, help us to ask challenging questions, and help us to hear that the answers aren't always easy and simple, that life is complicated. Holy One, be with us this week. Help us to be present in your story, to experience what you are, were going through, and to see the movement of God in the midst of the questions and challenges, the confrontations and struggles. as we pray together that prayer that you taught us. We say it in that language that is the language that we learned when we were tiny. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.